Hello, everyone, and it's good to be with you again today as we continue our uh, pastor uh, devotions. And today I would like to share with you something that we all can relate to and uh, something I think will be very beneficial to us as uh, stress levels continue to increase and we uh, continue on during these unusual times and uh, deal with something that uh, we've never dealt with before. And that's how we relate to people, uh, especially in the words that we use and how we respond to uh, something that we may not agree with, something that could be flat out wrong, uh, or even if uh, hurtful words have been said to us. I think uh, the immediate response because of sin and the flesh is to, to lash out, to put the person in their place, uh, to let them know that they were wrong, and oftentimes we uh, become angry or defensive in our responses. And this can happen with family members, uh, spouses, children, grandparents, aunts, uncles, uh, you name it. Uh, even prevalent uh, on social media as well as we interact with people, as articles are being shared, opinions are, are being shared, uh, especially over uh, politics or uh, leaders' responses or uh, stimulus package, uh, the coronavirus and how long it will last. There are a variety of opinions out there. And you can do a Google search, and within 15 to 20 seconds, you can find an article or a statement made that supports your side uh, of the story. And uh, the question is, how do we respond with, to that again? Uh, and Proverbs 15, verse 1, gives us uh, some great advice. Uh, Proverbs 15, verse 1 says this, that a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So what a great verse, right? And that's exactly the things I was talking about, that so often in our responses, uh, they fall uh, on the, the harsh word, and that often uh, stirs up anger. Uh, people don't like to be criticized. People don't like to be told that they are wrong. People don't like to be put in their place. Uh, but again, we like to do that. But uh, Proverbs 15.1 tells us that we need to have soft answers. And what does that soft answer do? Uh, it turns away wrath. Uh, and so just, just think about how in your response to people, uh, how can you, uh, and I'm talking to myself as well, how can we uh, be more kind? How can we be more gentle? How can we be more respectful? Uh, to turn away that wrath, to keep out of that debate, to keep out of that heated argument. And again, many of us may like to stir the pot intentionally, but I don't think we need to do that. Uh, I think we need to have a soft answers to turn away wrath and not to seek to get people upset. Again, a great word from Proverbs and something that uh, will be very beneficial for us in the days, weeks, months, and years ahead, even for all of our life. So I encourage you to meditate upon that verse, uh, to hide that verse in your heart, that a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. May the Lord Jesus Christ give us grace to remember such things. Let's pray. Oh, Father, we need you. We need you in all of life. Lord, we need you in our interactions, our responses to people, our conversations. Uh, Lord, just help us to have soft answers. Lord, help us not to seek to stir up anger. Lord, help us not to get uh, want to get people upset, to get people angry, uh, just to prove a point. Lord, help us to be loving, gentle, kind, respectful, that we, the way we interact with people. Oh, Lord, we need such grace in this area. We need your help. And thank you that Jesus uh, was gentle and kind in all areas of life. And Lord, uh, that uh, he gave answers that brought you glory and pointed people towards you. May we do the same, Father. We need you. And thank you that Jesus is our hope and salvation. Be with us and be with our leaders. Be with our nations, Lord. And it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen.